This part is I don't like saying How can you do this? Do it. What? Hey guys, and welcome to the 800th episode of the Star Wars Concept Images, but uh, no, seriously, this one's more like episode 7, I think. Anyways, today's video will be about Dark Side Luke. I know we've seen him plenty of times in Legends, such as the Dark Empire comics and so forth, but this concept design is from the Battlefront 4 artists, and they had something in mind that was very different. This isn't Luke if he somehow turned to the Dark Side later on in life after being a Jedi. This is Luke Skywalker if Vader had trained him from birth. If you've seen the other installments of this series, the story was supposed to have Anakin kill Padme on Naboo, and somehow she still gave birth to Luke and Leia, where I'm assuming is where this part of our story ends up at. Dark side Luke Skywalker raised from birth by Vader. That's a pretty interesting thought. We've all wondered if Luke was trained by Obi-Wan at birth, how powerful would he become, which is actually fan fiction that I'm having animated in the weeks to come. But we've never really examined the possibility of Luke growing up as a Sith from his father. The first concept design. Here we have his purple double-bladed lightsabers, and I think these are nods to his wife from Legends, Mara Jade, who had a purple lightsaber as well. He still holds his blaster at his side, which is kind of cool, showing us that Luke will always be Luke, regardless where he's raised or by whom. His hair makes Anakin's look short, and his eyes are quite Sith yellow, fully embracing the dark side, but still using the light, which is indicative of his purple lightsabers. The second design we can examine is this one, where he has Vader's clasp for a short cape and one hand sporting Vader's style of glove wear, along with his utility belt that looks just like his father's as well. The lightsaber looks to be Anakin's unchanged one from Revenge of the Sith, as Obi-Wan never got his lightsaber, obviously. The story apparently was supposed to have Vader suffer his injuries on another side mission entirely different from Mustafar's events with Obi-Wan. However, that story was never written to fruition. The next image is literally Luke with a man bun in Anakin's wardrobe, pretty much. However, with Vader's belt and a super futuristic looking mechanical hand, which actually looks pretty sweet. I always really liked the tunic that Anakin wore from Revenge of the Sith. It just looked right. The head concepts are even more weird, and probably the weirdest, until we get to the last image you guys will see. Here we have a Dathomirian Sith tattooed Luke with some eyeshadow and a fake chin strap or something. Then we have a short haired ice blue eyed Luke, perhaps symbolizing his turn to the dark side, yet still harnessing some light side powers. Here we have a monk style bald Luke who just kind of looks like Mr. Clean. And what I'm finding interesting here is that there are two bald designs, and in the concept art for The Last Jedi, Luke was drawn up to be potentially bald as well. I think it looks super Super cool, personally, but it's not my Luke Skywalker, if you know what I mean. The third page here has different concepts for Luke if he followed the dark side to its depths, as deep as Emperor Palpatine would have and let it completely disfigure his face, as he did in canon. We've got the most bad looking Luke that we've ever seen, a bit over the top if you ask me, but I bet you this version won't go down without a fight in an epic one. Here is where you can really see the Legends continuity in the concept designs. We've got Bug Eye Luke, which I don't really know where that's from, but he has some cybernetic goggles or eyes or something. Darth Malgus Luke, and then just Darth Bane Luke meets game show host Hair Luke. It seems they, or George or whoever was in charge here, really liked the Bane Malgus style without the face mask, of course, and the suit went with different epic designs that I just hope that we'll see on film someday. My favorite is this one right here, where he has his robe to the side like that. It has a bit of a Kylo Ren feel, Albeit these of course came before Kylo Ren was even a character, and the other parts are taken from these characters here, as they put. We've got a TIE pilot, Sidious's face, Vader's boots, Anakin's vest, and Plo Koon's breathing mask. See, this is why I love concept designs, and this is why I love making these kind of videos, is because they literally let you put together a bunch of things from the old and new, and then take a step backwards and say, wow, that really looks stupid. Or it makes you say, hey, you know what, this kind of looks cool, but what if we did this or change that? And then we eventually have the characters that we have today. As for Dark Luke's powers raised by Vader, well, obviously that's going to be extremely overpowered, and it's going to be something like a full power Anakin if he never got injured. Obviously, Force Choke would be one, Force Rage, Lightsaber Throw, Speed, Push, Pull. He looks pretty tormented, so he's probably going to use something diabolical and evil like Mace's power from Legends called Memory Walk, which makes a user relive all their old painful memories over and over again. But as for the rest of them, I want to hear your powers and what you think Dark Side Luke would use if he were trained by Vader from birth. Force Drain would definitely be another power that I would add. This guy looks pretty insane and evil. The story later goes on to have Luke fight a redeemed Vader, which 
if you remember I covered this story a few videos back, and then has him die in redeemed Anakin's arms. It's weird stuff, Vader comes back, but he's older, and then he fights his son, who's now totally evil and looks like Palpatine, but it's kind of cool, nonetheless, I think. I think it would be sweet to see in a comic or a game, even, especially. Thanks for watching today's episode, guys. If you want more coverage, show me that love and hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. <laughs>